Be prepared right from the very start and throughout for flashing images, offensive language and adult themes. So, Roxanne, this whole situation started almost a week ago now. Um, yeah. there, there seems to be a lot of things unanswered, especially from a viewer's point of view. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how much you've watched back. Watching it feels like a, di a completely different scenario to how it felt at the time. It seemed like it was blown mm -hmm. out of all proportion in your mind. Yeah. But even two days later, when you reenacted it on Ben, mm -hmm. it was totally different. Mm -hmm. So how can you get something so wrong in your head? How it felt when he did it, it hurt. I can't prove a feeling, no one can. The more I thought about it, it became heightened and I just felt, I convinced myself he meant to do that. Mm -hmm. And when I watched it back, the first thing I did when I got out was watch that. And immediately, I realised... But surely watching something doesn't change the way something felt. So then no. why suddenly do you have a different perspective on it? Because, if it helped, yeah. if it hurt the same it did way... Hurt. I'm not yeah. doubting that it hurt, as you say, only you know that. Mm -hmm. But if it hurt, it will always mm -hmm. hurt. Mm -hmm. So why did watching something change it because surely it's the same incident because I saw what every single person saw and I don't blame anyone for thinking why would why did she first of all make light of it joke it off kind of skip off I'm more shocked at myself than anyone out there is I need to go away and think about why I use humor when something actually bothered me in my mind mm. did you ever consider broaching the subject with Ryan when it happens. No. We've seen you in the house on numerous occasions when there has been subjects that needed to be mm -hmm. broached immediately. You've gone and done it. No, You've no. gone up to Hardeep and say, what have you been yeah. saying about me? Why didn't you feel like you should go up to I Ryan know. and say, you know, and nip it in the bud? Why didn't he get and the that's... chance that other people had? That's something I've asked myself in the last couple of days since watching Moments Back. I've questioned that too. And, and what answers have you got from that? I think it was because I didn't think he liked me. And the feeling I had afterwards was almost like I convinced myself that it was done with malice. And it wasn't, and I know it wasn't now. Did you ever consider the implications um, that it would have on him? Can you imagine if those cameras hadn't been there? You would have ruined somebody. I, I feel devastated. It cripples me with embarrassment and, sh and shame that mm. I could have put somebody in that position, seeing the footage of Ryan in the diary room, distressed. You did see him distressed in the house. You, you have the luxury of time, perspective. Some may say research mm -hmm. as well. You know, lots of people are not buying your apology. I think, you know, when I, you I take agree. all these things into consideration. I fully agree and understand with every single person's reaction and perception to that. If I'd have been at home watching that, I would have been the same. I I almost fell into this. Did you believe your own story? Yeah, yeah I did. That's quite worrying, I though, know, Roxanne. I know. I felt genuinely disturbed by the fact that somebody had Invading had my done personal space. What everybody else what has else? been doing yeah. to everybody else in the house. Yes. Yeah. But because Ryan and I didn't have that tactile relationship, and he'd done that to me a couple of times, I almost felt like he did that on purpose. Why did he do that? And I was wrong, massively wrong. That's such I know. A, a, an understatement. I know. Though, to be. I wish I had the words, Emma, to say just how gutted and a ship. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. I got it wrong. Only I can go away now and work on figuring out why I became that sensitive that I manufactured a different version in my mind. So what do you do now? How do you feel about yourself? The fact that I used the terminology like woman beater and I used words like assault and abuse. 
I, I mean, can't apologise enough. There was, there was enough. a lot. I know. A lot that you said. You repeatedly as well called him a liar to various people and that he was manipulative and calculating. What do you want to say to Ryan? <sighs> and his family? I know. Have you spoken or tried to contact anybody? I've, no, and I wouldn't impose on them like that. Do you not think they I, deserve an apology? Absolutely. And I, and I gave them that this morning. I want to again. I can't apologise enough for trying to label somebody something they're clearly not. All I can do is apologise and say, I got it so wrong. What have your family said? Admitted. When you immediately came out of that house, what did they say about your actions? They were gutted for me. They gutted, gutted for you? They were gutted at the whole situation. Or in what way? Well, I only have my mum. She knows how sensitive I am. She knows a lot of things in my past have made me a little bit too fragile and she just wanted me to come on. Uh, we've had over 10,000 questions come in for you. I don't think we've ever had that many questions come in. Ron Innes has asked, what is your response to other people who you've mm -hmm. worked with who've said that you have accused them of violence in the past? I don't, I haven't read any um, tweets. There's been a couple off. of people who've said uh, they have had similar if not the mm -hmm. same incidents with you um, over the years. They have all kind of commented on being a compulsive liar, that karma comes back. What do you say to that? It's devastating. No one wants to hear that, not from anyone, let alone people you've worked with. I think... Does it make you want to look at yourself even more? <laughs> or does it question why they say those things about you? Or is it just quite easy to go, Nobody could say anything to me that I've not already said to myself. Friends, ex-managements, it's horrible. That's a lot it's of massive. That's a lot of grudges I know. to be holding. I'm the most hated girl in Britain right now. It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. It's a lot to... Do you think you deserve that title, if that's the title you're giving yourself? It's the title I feel everyone's giving me at the moment, and all I can do is own it, accept it, and apologise, and try and take each day now better in all of those things that I'm, I'm realising. What Maybe are you going to do? What do you do now? How do you, how do you put it right? Like everybody that makes a mistake, I just try. Ryan will be sat here. What do you want to say to him and his family? It's very easy mm. to say sorry. Yeah. But to really mean it, I mean it. is a very different thing. I mean, that's why I'm here. I saw a situation that was innocent and misjudged and that was because of me that was because of my sensitivity fragility overreaction whatever you want to call it i'm all of those things and i used to think they were just character traits but they're character flaws and that's what i need to go away and sort out mm. and for ryan and his family and his friends and his colleagues and everybody that i've affected by such an enormous reaction that could have been devastating for him you could have ruined him. i know all I can say is I'm, I'm devastated and I'm sorry. It's a huge lesson for you to learn and to deal with going forward. Do you think in time you can have a career again? I am scared about the future, but I, I, to be honest, Emma, I, I need to just think about today. Mm. And today was important to me to come here and not just talk to you to talk to every single person that's been following the show, that's supporting me, that's supporting Ryan, that, that's involved in this, I need to say I got it wrong and I'm human and I made a massive, massive horrible mistake. Could you mm -hmm. forgive you? I would want to. Thanks everybody.